Africa is great. Uganda in particular is a very, very rich country. But we are poor because of our own mentality. We want to transform our minds to know that we can actually be able to liberate and emancipate ourselves from the poverty mentality which we have. We believe that when supported, we should be able, instead of begging, be able to help other people other places. We want to build this confidence in our young people that we can make it together. I'm okay. called Tony. Yeah, uh, I've been at home for quite many times. I'm now a qualified electrician uh, and I have a plan. If God allowed me so that I get some other finance that I have also to open a business so that I also employ other people. After my course here, I intend to find a job, open a workshop from which I will operate together with my colleagues in a group. I only hope the center will be able to support us with materials because art and craft materials are usually very expensive. I'm Kolo I'm a former student of Northern Uganda Youth Development Center. I was a student and I sat for my A-level, uh, good points, which can take me to the university that uh, no one could sponsor me. So I was at home redundant doing nothing. So I think um, after completing this course, and, uh, I want to qualify and uh, proceed ahead to be an electrical engineer. I'm Dennis Enoch, I'm an orphan. I was facing financial problem, that's lack of school fees, and I dropped out of school for two years. Then after hearing of the course, I was admitted and I've now pursued the course and I've qualified as an electrician. Appreciation goes to the sponsors. If possible, we should also one, one day go and study abroad so that we also have the same knowledge of being an electrician. Here in this department, we have 31 students. We shall be encouraging the learners, the students who are I do out there to come and join here so that they come and acquire some skills that can make them earn their living. Those young generation coming behind me, they are also getting the same problem I'm also facing, they are also facing. So I, I first want to go and help them after finishing here, not only for me, even those elder people at home. I just want to help them after completing this course. We have a plan linking these people up with the, the industries around. We feel that these students, when they go out to the companies, uh, these trainees, they can be taken home by the companies so that they remain there and work there. I'm called Solomon Jackson. Due to the problem of school fees, um, I came here to join this school and to get some, some skills. Since my parents were killed by LRA boys. In our home, we are only three people, three children at home. These are um, the elders at home. I've left my two children, which I'm also taking care of them. Then uh, come here to gain more skills so that to help them pay their school fees and to sustain their life also. I'm trying to be a tailor so I have a future for me and my baby. We traveled 300 kilometers to come here to study, which was sponsored by Commonwealth. We need more tools like sewing machine, pair of scissors. In the past, what happened to me is I was adopted by the rebels. So from there, I stayed with them for two days, and then I escaped away from them. I came and joined this school. 
in, in this year, first time. Up to now, I'm now getting the skill that is in bricklaying. I want to get some money to build my future. We don't have power in this school. Sometimes we can cut, sometimes we cannot. The material is not enough for us. I pay for myself in school. I pay my own fees. My parents died in 99. So I was living with my stepmother. She didn't take good care of me. She mistreated me. So I left and went into my own home. I got married. Uh, so when I got married, I lived with my husband for a while. I had two children with him, but he was also mistreating me. So I left him and went back to our home. So now I live alone. I pay my own fees. And in order to do that, I work at a construction site as a porter. So sometimes after school or during holidays, I work as a porter for which I get paid 5,000 shillings per day. And that's how I get the money to pay my fees. I'm a bad dog, but I'm a child. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. My father died in 1989. He died of an illness. My mother died in 1999. She was just shot dead. At the time of my mother's death, I was nine years and she left three children. I am one of the victims of this war. My daughter died in, here in Gulu under very mysterious circumstances. Our daughter was actually forcefully taken from our house by some of the rebels who gang raped her. And later, when she came back from that terrible ordeal, she committed suicide. Ten years later, my wife went home to our village as she was coming in the morning. A vehicle hit the landmine planted by the LRA and she was blown to pieces. It has been very difficult for me that I have committed and dedicated my whole life to work for peace so that other people don't suffer the way we did. I would very much appeal to the, to the Commonwealth in general, really to add funding to help our children through teaching so that they, they become good citizens, good people in the world. The Commonwealth Northern Youth Program give us another support. I hope in the future all the members will get an acre of land to plant their pineapple. If they do that, I hope we will stand by our home. We are not going to depend on other organizations. will be enough if they support us again. We do training in various uh, activities. We have several groups handling different enterprises. In this particular enterprise, we have this group called Jingchuni Peace Farmers Youth Groups. They are 32 members, including young men and female. We have training in uh, peace farm management, predator control, and even harvesting. And the center also supported them, management of the whole farm. Take uh, a pound of 1,000 square meter, you spend $3,000.
So if we are supported, we shall be able to expand, replicate this kind of project to other young people in other parts of the northern region like Uyam, Apaj, Gulu, Moro and Paje district. We can be lifted up and we can restore our dignity. And we believe that the West can help us just but for a while. But our destiny is in our own hands. And we believe by instilling this into the lives of the young people, we are able to bring up a generation of people who will be able to make a difference in this society and in this world. That is our vision.